So sometimes trips don't go exactly the way you plan them. For instance, today I actually didn't go out exploring or photographing or anything. Instead, I stayed in the Airstream for just about the entire day. So why did I do such a thing when I'm in such a gorgeous place? Well, it's very simple. Uh, my Hashimoto's, I'm having a bit of a flare right now, and I think I figured some things out that it's actually uh, connected with the allergies that I have. So this is a real short one today, and if you want to skip it, I totally understand. Um, I just wanted to quickly talk about um, why hang out in an Airstream for the day when you're in a gorgeous place and uh, you should be out photographing. Well, yesterday, hiking up Hackberry Canyon, I actually um, got my butt kicked a little more than I said on the last video. Um, I really felt as I was hiking up the canyon that somebody was almost choking me. So sometimes in the videos, you might notice some swelling or discoloration or a little general weirdness here. So in some of my previous videos during the winter, I always have my mock turtlenecks on. Um, there's a reason. <laughs> it actually stands out to me when I'm editing these videos. So just about a year ago, after um, being chronically sick since 2005, um, last year we finally really pinned it down um, after an ambulance ride to um, <laughs> Yavapai Hospital in Prescott. Um, this whole side here swelled up, actually swelled up right behind my ear. Uh, this part of my jaw was locked up for uh, a little while. And um, I ended up in the ER, and um, one of the things noted by the ER was that uh, my thyroid was inflamed. So last year we followed up on that with my GP, and we found out that I have Hashimoto's. Um, I'd never been tested for it before because most people who get it are actually female, and I am a guy. <laughs> so there you go. Um, it seems that some of my severe allergies go hand in hand with the Hashimoto's and now I'm starting to think that some of my outdoor allergies might actually aggravate the whole thyroid issue as well. And yesterday going into the canyon I popped some Benadryl and that helped alleviate some of the, the pain and discomfort but overall you know when I got back last night I knew I wasn't feeling super great. and. Um, I was up for a good bit of the night last night. I uh, couldn't get comfortable, couldn't sleep well, was having a lot of um, actual discomfort right in here on this side again. And it reminded me of, um, of the ambulance ride last year. So rather than push it too much, um, I, I made the decision this morning when I got up that, uh, that this should probably be more of a rest day, stay inside the Airstream and uh, crank the HEPA filter up. So. For all full-time RVers and people traveling around, days come up where things don't work out the way that you want them to. I, I'm a hardcore type A personality, which means I, I wanna be out doing things all the time. I wanna be engaged and active. And I have to say that this, um, this stupid disease is a pain in the ass for that, because there are some days when it just shuts me down and I've gotta go ahead and roll with that. Like I said in a previous video about slowing it down while you're visiting places, I have to remind myself that there are sometimes I have to slow it down as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And so not an exciting video today. I didn't run around and take any pictures uh, or anything else. So that's why this one's short and sweet. And, um, you know, I've, I've now known that I've got Hashimoto's for the past year. I still don't understand everything about it myself. Um, it's, it's confusing, it's annoying, and um, it crops up in different ways. So sometimes the inflammation here, sometimes more severe allergic reactions, and some days um, I, I feel like such a slug, uh, like uh, I'm completely exhausted. And um, even the simplest tasks like going to the grocery store just wipe me out. So today was that day. Tomorrow I will be back out again because I'm not going to miss out on, on the gorgeous weather that we're having here and the opportunities to go photograph some other places um, before I have to move on and get back to work over in Cortez. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate you guys following along. And if you've watched this whole one through, I might talk about this occasionally um, because it, it is a, it's a difficult illness and it impacts a lot of people. 
and um, sometimes people don't really get it. So now and then I might talk about it, especially when it frustrates me and messes up what should be a fun day. All right, have a great one, guys, and I hope wherever you're traveling, you're traveling safe.